you've been writing checks your mouth can't cash. You've been talking and walking a lot of shit back. You've been looking to validate all of your mistakes. But this is one step beyond what I can take. Ain't scared, ain't never been scared. It's all the same to me. Ain't scared, ain't never been scared. It's not hard to see. Ain't scared, ain't never been scared. It's all the same to me. Ain't scared, ain't never been scared. It's not hard to see. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ziggy Vance. Welcome back to season two, the premiere episode, but I am not alone. With me, the incomparable Blaze Phillips. Hello, everybody in the OMG Nation. What is going on? You thought season one was exciting. Well, you're in for a shock because season two has more twists and turns than you could ever see coming here at OMG Dub. That's right. It's 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 gonna be like a Shyamalan on top of a Shyamalan in here. So, but we're starting off with our newest division. We brought the ladies on board, Blaze. That is right. And we have never had more crowd hype for this new women's division coming into the ring. And I also want to talk just before we get into the women's of our new arena. You can see it here, handcrafted in. Handcrafted by our uh, our stagehands, who are also fake. Uh, it's a beautiful, intimate setting, I think. That is right, Ziggy. With all the success from season one of OMGW, it allowed us to really step up our game. Now, as I was saying, we are deciding the first ever Ultra Division champion. That is our new women's division here in OMGW, and that's going to be decided by two little four ways. The first is about to get underway with Nikki Harcourt making her way down to the ring. A single mom uh, who used to be a steel worker who's ready to try her hand at professional wrestling. And Nikki is nothing short of a genuine badass in the ring. You may have seen her in previous days. She did get her start at uh, ACW wrestling. Yes, yes, yes. She's very accomplished there. She's bringing her talents here to OMGW. Uh, and we are looking forward to seeing what she can do. And as I said, the winners of these two Fatal 4 Wheels will meet in a second match in the main event tonight to decide the title. So that's right. We're going to decide everything tonight for the Ultra Division. And here we have entering the ring Allie Shanks. This girl is nothing but business in the ring. She's here for one thing, and that's to pull out the W's. This is going to be one hell of a match with these two tough girls in the ring. Yes, yes. Allie Shanks is all business. Uh, she is self-proclaimed that the, the only thing that matters to her, the only her focus, she's Tiger Woods about wrestling. This is the only thing she does. Probably a bad comparison, but I just watched a documentary <laughs> on him on HBO Max, so please forgive me. I wish the other person would come out. Yeah, that is what I was that thinking. That was a long... I, Where are you? I would have kept talking if <laughs> I had realized that she would have bounced around that ring for as long as she did. Not a good start. And now we have Amy Scott making her way to the ring. She is a veteran. She's one of the older wrestlers here. Uh, she started as a manager way, 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 way back in the early days. I mean, old school hard rock days. Uh, and then she kind of had a, what people might refer to as a nervous breakdown. She refers to as a changing of perception. Went uh, to Thailand, trained in Muay Thai, uh, and uh, came back a lean moon fighting machine. I like to call it a midlife crisis, Ziggy. That's where my Corvette came from. I understand what is going on in this woman's head, and she is a force to be reckoned. Can you even fit in that Corvette, or are you too tall? Uh, yeah, custom. <laughs> Customs, Amy. Okay, all right, all right. So Amy Scott uh, also, I uh, just want to point out, it has never actually won a major women's championship in where she's been. And this is Ashley Presley, the entitled. She's one of our only second-generation wrestlers here. Uh, the daughter of Ash, uh, a, a Hall of Famer in other leagues from way back when. 
Uh, but she believes the titles of any league are just entitled to her. Yes, she believes that they belong to her through her heritage. And she has done well in the past to uh, earn them herself. But, uh, yeah, definitely a different attitude than these other wrestlers that she will be competing against tonight. Most certainly, most certainly. I do just want to point out, you're going to have to excuse uh, certain taunts uh, that the ladies make, uh, because, you know, on the off chance that this isn't real and this is a, uh, a, a video game that we're just watching, certain things couldn't be changed. That's better, Ziggy. And the action go. goes right in. Uh, we've got uh, Ashley and Allie, uh, well, Allie and Ricky are going to town on each other. Probably a poor choice of words. <laughs> Such a good pro. We got an early pin. Try to do one. You're right, you're right. We definitely got some money. We got to put this unit together. Uh, we got the new division going. Ooh, backstab with Nikki and Ashley. Ooh, and Allie Shank slides into the ring, taking advantage of that damage that has just been done to Ashley. Oh! Double jump on those knees. Not even sure if that She says she wants more damage done. 
going for the submission. Got the triangle show. She did, but Ashley got a Amy got a reversal. Too many Amy's. Too many. It's suplex. Ally Shanks is back in the ring. Shanks has been taking a beating early in this uh, match tonight. Submission. Ellie's able to pop out the from behind. Oh. Ashley gets in just in time as Ellie is able to roll out of the ring and by themselves. Amy's gonna go to the outside. Looks like she's Ashley's springboard. Oh springboard shooting star press on to Amy, but Nikki's in to stop any possible pin. Ashley's got Nikki up. Go to sleep! Ashley's got this match. She's just got a pin. What is she doing? She's going back to the outside. She's trying to get some more big moves here. She's calling for Nikki to get up. Oh, corkscrew! Corkscrew crossbody! Looks like she took a lot of damage from that, and Ellie Shanks is able to go back in the ring.
left or right here. That is two women down in the middle of the ring. This could be Nikki's chance to, to take this win. One, two. Ooh, Ashley gets it. Like, ow. She gets her shoulder up at two. Oh, now Amy is back. She's going to meditate in the middle of the ring. I told you that uh, that midlife crisis really changes people. It does. It does. What she got here? Huge thing. Huge stuff up here. Backbreaker to Ellie Shanks from Nikki Hart. Oh! Nikki's able to break up the pin. Amy follows her instead of taking advantage in the ring. Oh! Ellie Shanks showing a little bit of light here. Now Ashley up and Ashley is able to reverse. Power bomb, sit up power bomb to Ellie Shanks. I'll tell you, Ziggy, Ellie has really taken advantage. Amy Scott can't decide whether she wants to be in the ring or out of the ring. Oh! I think Nikki just decided for her. <laughs> I think she did. Oh! Double move to the stomach. Huge drop. Nikki tried to get out. She can't even get out. She's stuck on Amy. What is that? Oh, doing? Ashley targeting system was function there. She is way off. She's just jumping around. in our power bomb and she gets it. No hope for the kid. Now it's just Nikki to the outside. Ashley is in there alone. Amy hits a huge kitchen sink. Now she stops at Ashley. Ashley's in the corner. She look at that big knee. Dude. And dropped Ellie's face off the outside of the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whipped her back into the corner. Need it.
season two. What did you think of that, Blaze? That was amazing, Ziggy. I ain't here to plug for no YouTube channel, but I'll tell you when they promote stuff like this, I'll tell you. As Blaze Phillips, I like comment and subscribe. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, I am uh, off the grid. I live in a cabin by myself in the woods, so I don't it have shows, a computer. Ziggy. I don't have a computer, but if I did, I would like comment and subscribe as well. And again, not really a taunt that Amy would normally use, but things get weird here in OMGW. They get weird, Blaze. All right, so that's match number one. But our new correspondent, Melissa Ann, has caught up with Amy in the back, so we get to hear what she thought about a win. Amy, you have... What? Finally win a title after years in the business? I'm sure you're going to ask something about my motivation or my thoughts or whatever, so let me save you some time. Tonight, I'm taking what's mine. There's your quote. Tough words from Amy Scott. Yeah, she's not wrong. She definitely just proved herself in that match there. Maybe she's going to, that midlife crisis might lead to some really amazing things here at OMGW from Amy Scott. Well, those moves, I mean, the, those knees, they're punishing knees. So uh, you got to you gotta respect the validity of that move. We'll have to see her in the final. There's four other women in the Ultra Division so far, and they all get a shot to be her opponent. First and foremost is just, she is an Amazon defined, and that is Bodica, uh, hailing from uh, Great Britain. She finds herself to be, she claims to be the last living descendant of the actual uh, ancient warrior Bodica, which is why she dresses like that. Um, and this woman's physique is impressive to say the least. She is, she towers over the other women in this division. She has the power to get down, and uh, we're going to see that here tonight. Now, now we got uh, J. Jenny Jameson, uh, otherwise known as 3J, uh, ex rocker, mosh pit, heavy metal sort of person, uh, came to wrestling with an unbelievable amount of natural talent. That is right, you guys probably recognize her from back in the ACW days, and she is for sure punk. Yes, she is a lady punk all the way. She has no respect for authority, no respect for her other opponents. We're going to probably see that here tonight in this ring, and she's definitely like this. And you know she is a great musician as well, because you see her tip money right there in... Right, right there in her guitar as she enters in this. Hey! Stop looking at that car engine! You know, sometimes we get some weirdos in here. We had the, the trumpet guy from last year, and now we got a dude just you know, revving a motorcycle. It certainly wasn't a, a text or phone notification. I can assure you oh, of that. Oh, definitely not. Not in these professional We are pros. Industry. Pros. We don't do that here. Right? I tell you what, I am certainly not checking my phone to make sure that it's also not going to go off. I, because it's already off. Because that's that's just how uh, professional we are. Alright, so next up we got Kate Sampson. Uh, Kate Sampson, funny enough, is uh, not actually related to Kurt Sampson, but she has trained with him. Uh, she is an accomplished amateur wrestler in the female uh, under his wing uh, in his off-season time. So we're going to see a lot of technical submission wrestling from her. Yep, he is one of the greats in the industry has allowed Kate to use his uh, surname. Yeah, that, that, and that's the other thing. Yeah, as a stage name, uh, he did allow her to use his surname. Uh, thanks for pointing that out. Thanks for pointing that out to the boys. They are not actually related. They're related in spirit. Not in actual view. And then finally, and this 
She is a Hall of Famer in a couple other places. A veteran for sure, Ziggy. Molly Martin entering the ring. She is uh, from Deep South, but she is also married to uh, Zachary Hunt, esteemed uh, uh, OMGW veteran. She does not have the bad knees that plague Zachariah, though. This woman, for her age, is still spry and ready to go and throw down. Well, you know, they were both retired. Zachariah Hard Rock came back, and then when they decided to announce the uh, Ultra Division, she said, well, anything you can do, I can do better. But she said it with a much sexier southern accent. And now she's in the ring, and let's see if she can. Because one of these four women is going to meet Amy Scott for the Ultra Division Championship tonight. Oh, big action right off the bat. DJ goes right after Molly into a huge clothesline and then into a little bottom from sit down for the bottom from the middle of the first. While both of them start to close the Oh, came with a big reversal.
That was the, the GOTF, get out of my face. Puts her out of the ring. Now Bolton tries to put her. Kate's gonna reverse. Now we're gonna see some technique. A huge German suplex. That is going to be great. And that's gonna be good. Kate. Going for the pin. This is gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. No! Molly Martin played it smart. At her age, she got out of the ring. Oh, she 
Molly Mulford's coming to break up the submission. And she does. Just in time. Just in time. That's the kind of pain that you're talking about, Blaze. You can't stay in the ring. J just pulls out the victory. Right at the end. And that just goes to what you said, picking your spots. That's right. I was very impressed by the way that uh, uh, Samson fought in that one. But yeah, I think her mistake may have just been too much aggression. Yeah, because when she went down, she couldn't she couldn't get up to get that break up. And uh, Molly just got cold cocked. And Molly took plenty of damage on the outside when they were all brawling. So... It will be 3J taking on Amy Scott in the main event. And I gotta ask, who do you think's gonna win? Who's got it? I, that's a tough one here. I think that uh, Triple J, is, she's coming for it. I'm calling it right now. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Melissa Ann went back to the stage to catch up with her. So we're gonna find out if Triple J what she has to say about it. Jenny, you have just earned yourself a chance to be the first ever Ultra Division Champion right here tonight. Yeah, yeah I did. But let's face it, there was no lady in that ring who had a chance. Strong words, but your final hurdle is a woman who some would refer to as a living legend, Amy Scott. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What? That after going through three prime time competitors, I have to go against Amy Scott. You know what legend means to me? Past. As in past its prime, as in past its time. As in yesterday's news, Melissa, Amy Scott had her day. The Ultra Division is now. I am now. Amy Scott had a lot of shots at the title in her day and lost every one. It's just too damn bad that has to happen for her again. <laughs> Some cocky words there from Triple J. She's known for nothing less. She is punk. Yeah, yeah that's, that's punk. And uh, she is... It's all down to this. One of these women is going to be the first ever Ultra Division Champion, Amy Scott. Or 3J. I'm going to go ahead and call Amy Scott just to, just to get from there, uh, Blaze. All right, put your money on the table, Ziggy. And we're going to get into this one. And I have I'll, a feeling it is going to be a blood. I'll bet my cabin versus your uh, uh, custom for that. Not going to happen, Ziggy. Not going to happen. You don't think my cabin's worth as much as your custom Corvette? You'll go through a midlife crisis someday, too. I've already gone to five. That's why I live in the woods. <laughs> in any case, here we go. This is it. This is the main event. The Ultra Vision title is on the line. And for the first time, it's going to be MJ versus Amy Scott right here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're so happy to be back. We're so happy to be doing this again. Doing this again. That is right, Ziggy, and this opening show has been no disappointment. That is for sure. No, I gotta say these ladies have brought it. You know, they obviously the gauntlet was laid down uh, when they were coming in to, to just you know be as good or better than the guys, and they have done that here tonight. They've set the bar for the remaining season. That is right, Ziggy. And the as you said, there's been no disappointment. Every woman you've seen tonight has the ability to be a champion, and we have them right here at OMGW. That's damn right. The best place for female wrestling that you can find. That's right. And, and since we announced the Ultra Division, we got a lot of calls, just like with the other ones. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Charlotte Flair, we just can't accept you into this league at this time. Sorry, she was even willing to take a pay cut. That's amazing, Ziggy, but we have too much talent here. Right, right, too much talent. And there it is, the new Ultra Division Championship that these ladies will be wrestling for. Amy Scott doing a little pre-match stretches. Jenny just staring it down, and here we go! It's time!
Whoa! From the ground into the sit-out powerbomb! So much power behind that slam. Oh, but reverses with an arm drag. And he's no, nowhere near done, even with that kind of a maneuver. You gotta remember, you guys have just witnessed the hell these ladies have gone through this very night. They have got some tight. Can't expect this match to be that long. They train for this league. That's why they are the best in the league. I think, uh, I think Triple J just tripped. Just stumbled. Just stumbled. Love that that's still a thing. It just every once in a while. Is Triple J going to put her off the stairs? No, oh, that apron. Apron. That's a hard shot to Amy's head. Six. Oh, but Amy reverses. Put in Jen. 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 Triple J. That's Thanks. the easiest way to remember that, that is name. The easiest way. Oh, up a knee out of nowhere from Amy Scott. That might be it. What? Amy's not going for the pin. Ooh. Oh! Such fast moves from Triple J. Yeah, an elbow to reverse, and then a huge spinning reverse elbow. Ooh! And shoulder checking her to the outside through the ropes, and she's on the top rope. So much height. That crossbody was insane. The hang time on that. Two. Ooh, and breaking her back on the outside apron. Jenny has the upper hand now. She's in control. Can she make two? Huge chops. Ooh, train off chops now. Three. So light. Jenny back in the ring. Thank God we don't want to stand in a count out. I don't think these ladies will let that happen. It off. Is, is, it? is Amy is gonna it? tap? Oh, oh, Amy reverses. Beautiful reversal. Beautiful reversal. We still got a match. I thought that was it. She already got one more. Oh, 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 Whoa! A miscommunication. Amy comes out on top though. Gets it I don't think 
took Amy completely by surprise. I think Jenny's quick take a break motion was almost a playing possum. Oh, you saw it. She started taunting, and, and before she knew it, Jenny took the three with back up on her face. We got another submission locked in from Jenny. She might get it here. She might get it here. Look at the torque she's applying. Ooh, ah! What's her to her knees? Jesus! What a cranker! Oh, and Amy shows some life, putting another elbow in. And a shot to the back of the head. Oh, up into the ropes. She's really good using the ropes, but the fireman's carrying the punch here. Huge right hand from Amy. Now Amy's showing life. Those strikes. damage and she thought she had the match won. I mean both these ladies are frustrated. They have, they have just thrown everything at each other. After both of them are trying to move their way. You know what we're going to do with Like she waits it out and waits for the right moment. The hard thing to do with Oh, and there's that big TOMF. Jenny goes for the pin with this point. Do we have a new option too? She's champion right here. We do. do. Triple J. Ziggy Payoff. I, you did not take the bet. Thank God I have a place to live. I'll let you rent. Uh, you didn't take the bet. It's stuck my cabin. Jenny, what a match, what a match. And you, know, you may not like Jenny's outlook, you may not like the way she speaks about others, but you've got to respect her in-ring talent. What a match. And we have our first Ultra Division Champion. This is a momentous night for OMGW, Ziggy. A momentous night, a momentous night. This is it, guys. We are back. You can check in with us on Mondays for OMGW Wrestling. We're not signing off quite yet. I just want to let you guys know this is just the start, the start of something great. The first ever woman to hold the OMGW Ultra Division belt. I want this to be written in the history books, Ziggy. It will be written in the history books, our history books, because it is history. History is stuff that happens before us. But yes! So that's it. That is it, Ziggy. And what a big night it has been. Make sure you come back next Monday for some more OMG Wrestling. You've been writing checks your mouth can't cash. You've been talking and walking a lot of shit back. You've been looking to validate all of your mistakes But this is one step beyond what I can take Ain't scared, ain't never been scared It's all the same to me Ain't scared, 
ain't never been scared. It's not hard to see. Ain't scared. Ain't never been scared. It's all the same to me. Ain't scared. Ain't never been scared. It's not hard to see. 